Hi guys, welcome to the preview of My Loving Liar, episode 13 and 14. Doha gave assurance that he wouldn't let Sohi enter any difficulty again, but Sohi restarted that she didn't find it difficult. I am sure she wants to stand up for him. She wants to be like a backbone for him and uh, she doesn't want to let him down. She wants him to keep on moving. Kim Myung began an independent investigation into the incident. I think he's suspecting the inspector that the inspector wasn't carrying out the right investigation. So he tried to find out one or two things by himself. But given everything I have done for you, Mr. Chan seems to be implying that uh, though he is unappreciative. Who I, I'm thinking who is unappreciative there? Because I know that Mr. Chan is using Doha here. In addition to her father, Mr. Chan and his younger Siri appear to be the murderer and the suspect in the death of Im Jin. Now this uh, three of them they look all these three. I'm thinking they are part of the suspect because Mr. Chan himself is would get a lot of things if he kills the, the lady and use it to kind of like a kind of threat to control to her so that they can be writing music and producing song for him. Perhaps the brother of Mr. Chan had feelings for her. His affections were not reciprocated by her. However, I'm aware that they trick us into believing her father murdered her in order to get a life insurance. Can a father really kill a child just to get a life insurance? Well, it's possible though. Who, what role did, the, did, the, um, did he play? What I'm asking now is what led to this murder and why does a life insurance play a role in it? Perhaps unrequited love or another un unsolved hidden motive. The future will tell. I'm thinking this murder case is revolving around these three people. What do you think? Please write your, your thoughts in the comment box below. Like, share and subscribe to join Amsterdam Talk if you haven't done so. Thank you.